good morning guys welcome back to a brand new vlog it is a very gloomy rainy day after a very hot streak here in florida we were up into the high 90s yesterday the day before like all last week it was like 98 degrees we actually went inland towards orlando and it was 108 degrees yesterday and i was like what the heck it is so hot here and with the humidity guys that's a whole nother level but anyways today is an exciting day because the painting is beginning. The paint ladies are on their way and they're gonna do all the trim and all the baseboards in the house and they're going to be white. So they're also gonna be doing the bookshelf. So I'm gonna show you guys like a before and like just, just to really like capture it in your mind of like the transition. I'm not sure where they're gonna start. I'm hoping they're gonna start in the living room just because that's where I spend the most time, I guess. And hopefully they'll end in Liam's room. That's, that's my hope. So let me show you guys. All right, so the plan is, and I'm not really sure if we're doing white. I know we're doing white trim all around like the baseboards here, the doors, and then around like there, that area. Um, which goes throughout the whole house. And then I'm not sure if it's gonna be a different white for the this. Um, and then, like I said, Larry and I will be painting this wall here in the center, the navy blue ourselves. But again, like this will be painted. This is the only door that we have switched out. Um, all the other doors are still the brown doors, but this one we started. Um, so we'll have to, it's gonna be really noticeable when the trim is all white, but. Yeah, I'm excited. And then while I'm waiting for them to arrive, I'm just catching up catching up with some things on my computer. And then, oh, I gotta show you guys. I didn't film yesterday because we went to TJ Maxx, went to Books A Million, and I just didn't film because I, we were already at Marshall's TJ Maxx. I just filmed that not that long ago. Um, but we were just in a different area and different stores carry different things. So I was like, let's check it out. And then we did go in the bookstore, but we went to Books A Million, no. Barnes and Noble. And the thing about it is they don't have carts in there, guys. You can't like, I should have brought the stroller. I did not have a stroller. So I was carrying lamb. You can absolutely not film. And you know, it was a whole thing, but I did find him his very first pair of real shoes, like hard bottom shoes. How cute are these little Nikes? <gasps> guys, the cutest little <laughs> shoe i have ever seen in my life and i got these at marshall's they were 25 dollars which why were they 25 dollars compared to 35 dollars i was thinking these were like i mean it is nike i spent 25 dollars on shoes that he is going to outgrow very quick but they're really 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 cute so anyways oh i also bought him some halloween goodies see they did not have these onesies at the other store I did find them here, like their little pajama sets. Turn the light on. All right, so I picked him out this one, which has little bats and pumpkins on it, and I got him the size 18 months. Family matching, I didn't see the parentals. Guys, that looks really long, but Liam's extremely tall, so that'll be fine. And then I also got him a pumpkin want yeah he will not that is really long guys we'll see he might fit in it by the time october rolls around and then i found myself like a really stretchy slouchy cardigan it looks pretty cute it's got some silver buttons not sure how i feel about the silver buttons but i think it'll look cute with black leggings like a black moment and then larry picked out like a light white button up very pretty shirt and then I picked up these. These are my favorite sponges, the Real Technique sponges. And they were $9.50 for a pack of four. That's what I picked up. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, the desk is out here in the living room under this mirror. Now, the thing with that is, this is going to be the Christmas trees location where this desk is. The desk would not fit in the guest bedroom, and we have our friends coming to stay who have a baby. So, um, you guys know Angela. She's going to be coming to stay with her husband and the baby, and 
I'm like, there's no way, like this desk is gonna be in the way. It's just, it doesn't fit with the bed and the um, nightstands. So I'm putting it here. This is a great spot to have it too because when Liam's in the living room playing and I'm doing editing and doing stuff like that, I can still get things done and I can keep an eye on Liam. But I don't think this is gonna be the permanent spot. I'd rather, and it, the only other spot it's gonna fit is here or our bedroom. And I'm like, do I really want the desk in the bedroom because I'm gonna look at my computer and be like oh I need to do this or, oh I need to do that you know what I mean but I don't know well it might you know what maybe I'll keep it here and then during Christmas tree season it'll go in the bedroom and I'll do my editing there we'll see we'll see guys it's it's a work in progress <laughs> trying to figure out like where everything's gonna go. I'm so excited to see this area transition. I really hope I like the navy. I'm, oh my gosh, it's the first time I'm ever going like with dark paint. I'm a very white walled, white shelves individual. So for me to go dark navy is something. So we'll see, I think gold, like gold accents with navy is really, really pretty. Anyways, I'm gonna sip on my coffee, continue editing a vlog and the paint lady should be here soon. I don't know how much I'm gonna film of that. I'll probably film like progress. They're gonna be here for, I think a full week, um, like every day from 9.30 or nine, like 9.30ish like to like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening. So it's gonna be hard for me to vlog a little bit because like vlogging with people in the house, you know what I mean? But um, we'll see how we get on, how it goes. And uh, we'll see what progress we have and where they're gonna start. So the lovely paint ladies have been here for a few hours now and they are priming the baseboards, they're caulking them, they're filling in the nail holes, they're doing all the things. So even with the two layers of primer on the baseboards, you can already tell a huge difference and they're actually going to do the navy wall. Um, we're not gonna paint it, they're gonna paint the navy wall. And then we decided like the white trim actually looks so good that the walls look pretty with it. So we're not gonna paint the walls. Larry and I are not gonna have to paint the walls. <laughs> I think it looks great. So let me show you like a little sneak peek of, this is just the primer obviously, so it's not 100% done, but it looks so good guys. Look at it. Like look at the wall color with that. Should I turn on a light? Maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you see that difference? And then the wall is like this creamy, pretty color. Here's the hallway with the baseboards. Looks great. And then you can really tell here like the difference with the front door area since it's still partially wood, partially white trim. But it is coming along. Um, and now this is almost done, this area. Again, not, not done done, because again, this is primer guys, which is why you can see through there, but this is going to be amazing. I cannot wait until they do this area. So she said we're actually going to do white on the bookshelves, the built-ins, white trim around the fireplace, navy blue on that wall, and then we're leaving the walls the normal color that they are now. And then all of the pocket doors in the house, instead of replacing them, because we would need to replace them before she can paint them because the whole frames need to come out with the pocket doors, to keep it simple, to keep it easy, to save some money, we're actually just gonna have them paint the doors instead of having them pull them off and replace them. And it's just the easiest thing. The time they're closed, you don't see them anyway. Yeah, and they're closed. So like they don't need to be the colonial, like the normal bedroom doors. They're just sliding pocket doors. It is what it is. So we're not worried about those too much, but it's coming along, I'm very excited. And yeah, we've just been kind of chatting, talking. I think they're on a lunch break now. Um, and this is going to be a week long process. So this, this room is going to look, this background is going to be so different. Like there's not going to be any orange or yellow in the background when I talk anymore. <gasps> Yay. Except for the tile fireplace, which we love and we're keeping. And we're also keeping the bookshelves and the Harry Potter shelf, the brown though. I think we are keeping this, the natural pop of wood. Color. Good morning, guys. You joined me in the bedroom. It is the next day. We are still working on painting project. The ladies are still here doing the uh, priming of the trim. They've almost got the whole side of the house done except for our room. 
the master bedroom and then Liam's room, but everything else is pretty much done. But I wanted to hop on because in today's vlog that got uploaded, which I think might be the most recent vlog or the vlog, be vlog before that, I showed this photo album and I was complete, having a complete meltdown about the pictures and how you can't, there's no slots on the back to like slide the photos in. And literally, I think it's probably 90% of my comments are like, just put the pictures like back to back and slide them through the slot. And I pulled out the photo album out of the closet. I looked at it and I'm like, really? Could it be that easy? I started busting up laughing to the point I was in tears because I'm like, how did I not see that? Why did I not think of that? And instead I had like this complete brain, brain blah, blah, I need to sleep forever, a brain block. And I couldn't even visually, like I couldn't see plan B. I just saw panic. <laughs> So now I can fix the photos, take them out, and then they can be back to back. So that's a plus. And then in the vlog after that, everybody was like, please tell me you got the state puff man, state marshmallow man for Larry and tell me you didn't leave him behind because Larry lit up when he saw him. And yes, we did not leave without him. I thought he was in the vlog. I thought we showed him. I guess we did not because a lot of you were like, where is this man? We got him. He lives with us now all is well um yeah so that's that that's the update and i think little man is just waking up from his nap so i am gonna go get him i'm enjoying my third cup of coffee for the day and i need to fold laundry it's just one of those days i told you guys it was gonna be hard to vlog because it's hard to vlog when like people are in the house and oh, you know what i mean um so this is probably gonna be like a couple days of footage and like updates and stuff but Anyway, I'm gonna go get my little man, give him a big hug, and fold some laundry. Ready, 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 ready? <gasps> oh my gosh. I love you guys, thank you so much. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> Just made the first pumpkin cookie batch of the season. Yum! Yay! Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. It is is it thursday today's the last day that we're doing the paint project so this is probably going to be the last day of this vlog here i will show you guys in the evening when it's complete the whole project isn't complete of course they're saving like my favorite bit for last like the accent wall and the built-ins will be painted last so next week but i'm telling you guys the difference is insane right now larry's cleaning out the bedroom closet i'm folding laundry liam's down for a nap just doing all the things that we need to do we also need to pack. I might do some of that in this vlog because we are going away for the weekend, which I'm very excited about. We're heading off to Orlando. So I think I am gonna be vlogging there as well. And it's just gonna be a great time. But that means I have a list of like tons of things to do, tons of things to get done today before we head out tomorrow. So I'm gonna get organized. It's gonna be, obviously this vlog is very relaxed vlog because I can't go out and do anything of course because we have people at the house from like 9 30 to 4 4 30 so um and then Liam's bedtime is in the evening and we eat dinner and all the things so this vlog is a very casual in the life kind of what's going on which is pretty much what I film anyways we all know that so anyway I'm folding some laundry the paint ladies are going to be here any minute I think they're painting in this room so I probably won't get a chance to even finish the laundry but uh we're going to give it a try <laughs> Um, white shirt to vacation yeah, to our weekend of, away. Thinking about wearing it when we check in. Yeah. Wearing it tomorrow, you mean? Yeah. Oh, you're dressing nice. Okay. Then I need to, oh my, I don't have, like, oh my gosh, I need to vamp up my wardrobe because I don't really have, I have cozy, casual, cute. I do not have nice. I need to wash these for Liam. This shouldn't even be in this pile.
Okay guys, so the trim is mostly complete, but not all the way. So there's not much to show, and I don't think I'm gonna show you guys when this hair is crazy. Um, the house until it is completely done and it'll be like an exciting reveal and this will be all done and completely painted which i'm very excited about so let me show you kind of like the trim how it looks now which on camera i'm sure you're really not going to be able to tell much of a difference between the primer <laughs> and the paint right now but like that hall just looks so much better with the white and then of course we still are going to replace the doors with the white colonial doors but I don't know, let me know. What do you guys think of the wall paint color with the white trim? I think it looks really pretty. And then here's another look. Um, they didn't put the door back on all the way yet, but just another look at like the entry area with the white trim. I think it looks really pretty. I think the paint color, they're calling it like a grayish. Like they say it looks like a gray beige which works with the white trim. It looks really pretty. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, edit this video. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye.